Courtney reporting from Kids First, and today I'm going to be reviewing the highly anticipated sequel of Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Finding Dory is adorable and fun, but not a match for the first one. It is a brilliant movie on its own, the only problem is the bar that was set so high from Finding Nemo. But considering the amount of time that has passed since the first one, it is surprisingly consistent, which is a huge plus. The film focuses on the forgetful yet friendly bluefish Dory, voiced by Ellen DeGeneres, and her journey to find her parents. The plot is connected with a series of flashbacks from Dory's childhood and in bursts of memories she has along the way about her past, which is really different and unexpected. I really like how there's a lot of appearances from the old characters and a lot of references to the first movie. The film provides outstanding humor, as Pixar always does, giving people of all ages unforgettable enjoyment. I was really relieved to see the same style of animation and camera work in the second film because I did fear after all these years that they would try to advance the details and tweak the animation, but it is safe to say that they are consistent in the style and the consistency is really comforting. A main concern I had was if Dory could carry out the role of a main character as she had previously been a supporting character in the last film. However, she did carry that role very nicely and the supporting characters in this film really brought the comedy to life because they all contributed their pleasant personalities and help along the way in this journey. One of the best aspects of this film is that it focuses on character development rather than just a fun and adventurous journey. Pixar provides more than just comedy and entertainment for the kids. It provides messages and shines a light on mental disabilities. While the film is not as good as you expect it to be, it is not as bad as you fear it will be. And because of this, I give the movie a four and a half out of five stars. I would recommend this film for people of all ages, specifically between 5 and 18. I would recommend this film for people that have seen the first one, otherwise it could be very hard to understand. Check out this film coming to theaters June 17th. This is Harmony reporting from Kids First. Goodbye!